Hello everyone, we are in week 17 for music listening and we are looking at elements and principles. Now, with elements and principles, you must understand that in music we have certain terminology that we use to describe things that we hear. So, we're going to be looking at elements and principles of music listening. Elements of music, first of all. When you listen to a piece of music, you'll notice that it has several different characteristics. Just like a personality, just like a movie that you may watch, just like a piece or a sculpture or a painting. It may be soft or loud, slow or fast, combine different instruments and have a regular rhythmic pattern. So all of these are known as the elements of music. We have pitch tonality, melody, duration, rhythm, meter, structure or form, dynamics, instrumentation, texture, harmony, tempo, and then finally, timber. Basic elements of music. Let us define all these elements that we mentioned. First, we have dynamics, which have got to do with the volume in the music e.g. loud, using the Italian word for loud is forte, or quiet, the Italian term for it is piano. Then we have duration, the length of notes, how many beats they last for. Link this to the time signature and how many beats in a bar. Then we have rhythm. What is rhythm? It is the effect created by combining a variety of notes with different durations. Consider syncopation or cross rhythms or polyrhythms, duplets and triplets. Then we have structure, the overall plan of the music, e.g. is a tenary which will be ABA or rondo. A, B, A, C, A, D. Then we have verse or chorus. Then we go to the pitch. Remember what pitch is. It's how, light, how loud or how low or soft or rather how low a note is. The relative lowness or highness that we hear in a sound that is called pitch. The pitch of a sound is based on the frequency of the vibration and the size of the vibrating object. The slower the vibration, the bigger the vibrating object. The lower the pitch, the faster the vibration, the smaller the vibrating object, the higher the pitch. For an example, the pitch of a double bass is lower than the violin because the double bass has longer strings. Pitch may be definite, i.e piano or indefinite symbols. Then we have the melody, the effect created by combining a variety of notes of different pitches. Consider the movement, steps, skips, leaps. Then we have meter or time signature. That is the number of beats in a bar, e.g. 3, 4 or 6, 8. Consider regular and irregular time signatures such as 4-4 four, four or 5-4. Four. 4-4 four, four being regular, 5-4 being irregular. Then we have instrumentation, the combination of instruments that are used. Consider articulation and timbre. Maybe they are playing staccato, maybe they are playing legato or pizzicato. Then we have the texture. The texture is the different layers in a piece of music. Maybe it's polyphonic, monophonic, thick or thin. That is texture. Then we have tempo, which is the speed of music. Fast or allegro for the Italian term. Moderate, which is adante in Italian or slow which is lento or lago. Then we have the timber. 
the tone quality of the music, the different sound made by different instruments used. For an example, the note A sounds different on a saxophone than it does on a, on a trumpet. Tonality. That would be the key of the piece of music. Is it major, which can be happy, or minor, which is sad, or atonal? Then we got harmony. How notes are combined to build up chords. Consider concords and discords.